Good morning, everyone. Although I suppose it might not be morning when you're watching this. I'm so used to live streaming that I sort of announce the time of day a lot, which is also funny because I live stream to people all around the world. Clearly, I just need things to say as a greeting. Last time when I said, like, I'm your host, Valerie Cooper, it, it felt a little weird. I don't know. It felt presumptuous to say I'm your host. I am merely a, a conduit funneling information about awesome science fiction to everybody. So I, as I'd hinted at in my first video, I have a lot of fun stuff planned. One of the things I want to start with is just talking about some of the science fiction authors that made a huge impact on me. And then eventually I want to get to interviewing existing authors and also even having like just get togethers where, where authors and fans just talk together. We, maybe we do it in Zoom. Maybe we get some authors on. Um, using StreamYard or something and send it to YouTube and then fans can interact with comments. I'm going to figure some stuff out. Also working on a directory of all female science fiction authors, which sounds like a daunting task. It probably is. But I think it's a cool thing to do. And I think it would have some value if we could get information in like, I don't know, like what their average Goodreads rating is. Well, I don't really like Goodreads, but some sort of way for readers to tell some stuff about the authors, at least, you know, a way to link to their, their Amazon page. Goodreads pages, um, a lot of the authors maybe to put in some like favorite reviews or something like that. Something to let people know a little bit about folks. However, um, I want to talk a lot about both indie authors and trad pub authors. But one of my favorite trad pub science fiction authors is a lesser known Canadian author named Tanya Huff. Uh, she is actually well known as a fantasy author of all things. In fact, if you look her up, you'll see her listed as a fantasy author. Um, she wrote a series called The Blood, I think it's just called The Blood Series. I've never read it because it's, like, I don't read as much fantasy as I used to. And it got turned into a TV show called Blood Ties. Um, but she also wrote a series called The Confederation Series, or a Confederation, I think it's called just The Confederation Series. The books all say a Confederation novel on them. The first book in the series is called, um, and suddenly I'm wondering if this flipped around for you guys or not. For me, it's backwards. I think for you, it's straight. Hopefully, we'll find out. If not, I'll fix all of that. Anyway, Tanya Hoff's A Confederation of Valor. And this is an omnibus that contains Valor's Choice and The Better Part of Valor, which are the two first books in the series. If you like, like, um, I mean, if you like my books and you like Tannis Richards, you're going to love Torin Kerr, who's the main character in this book. Um, if you love, I um, can't believe I can't remember her name. It was like I had this all planned out ahead of time. It's written by a guy. It's a really popular... The Honor Harrington books. Oh my god, I can't believe I almost forgot about forgot Honor Harrington's name. If you want to read um, Honor Harrington, that kind of character, but written by a woman, um, with, you know, some decent romance in it, real life stuff, the kind of things, you know, people go through, but also like a brilliant military um, officer, Anya Huff does an excellent job of that. Um, there are five novels in this series. Like I said, this one's an omnibus, Confederation of Valor. And then there's Art of Valor and Valor's Trial. I have to, like, hold these in front of the microphone, I guess. Um, and then the last one in the first set is um, The Heart of Valor. She has a whole new series of books following Tor and Kerr that follow this as well. Um, I just haven't read them yet because I've been too busy writing my own books. But... I highly recommend her. Her characters are vivid, they're interesting, they're exciting, and um, if you like military science fiction with female officers and strong women, it's a it's it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. So Tanya Huff, I highly recommend her. Um, I'm going to be talking some more about some other authors that I have on my shelf. I've actually recently gotten rid of a lot of books um, because I don't keep that many print books around anymore. Just because I don't, I don't reread books a lot. Most books I read just get like one read and then I move on to the next book. But there are certain authors that, um, that just I'll come back to again and again. And she's one of them. So I hope that you guys give her a shot. Check out those books. They're amazing. And like I said, stay tuned. Share this with your friends if, you're, if you think they're interested. Actually, you know what I should do? I, I was going to say I should read something from the books. But I realized I didn't pick anything out from the books to read them. But I will put the uh, 
the blurb on the back. She actually isn't an officer at the beginning, but she becomes one later on. Um, so and she starts out as a sat staff sergeant. So you really get like a gritty um, in the trenches kind of kind of um, story, the way it starts out. It's actually the back of the book really compares her to Ripley from Aliens. And I would actually say that that's actually a pretty good comparison. Um, that'd be that'd be a great way to do it. And it's a, the first the first one since meaty book too. It's 600 pages, you know, of not large print. So there's a lot of there's a lot of book in here. You will love it. Of course, that, that first one is two books, but you get my meaning. All right, everyone, I'm going to try and keep these things short and sweet when I talk about authors so you guys can dive in there quickly. Um, let me know if there's any authors you want me to talk about. Uh, would you you'd like me to share? You can comment on this post about those. You can also go to thewomenofsciencefiction.com, which is right here. And there's a spot to nominate authors that you'd like us to feature. Um, and we might feature them in different ways. I might just write like a, a put them up on the website as being featured. I might do Instagram posts. I might try and get them for an interview. It's, you know... I haven't quite figured out the format yet, but that's going to be something we're all going to figure out together and I'll be able to tell by what you guys like and what you don't like. So keep me informed. Let me know what you want to see. Give me your ideas. I have a lot of ideas. Like I said, I'll be starting Instagram author interviews soon where you can go to Instagram and get like these multi-page author interviews with um, short and interesting tidbits from authors, um, recommended reading and stuff like that. And I think we're going to start doing some giveaways too. I'm right, like, you know, Get everything rolling so lots of fun stuff to come please subscribe like this video that helps a lot when you like videos um anywhere it shows them to more people who subscribe usually what they, what youtube does is like okay we've got this new video by you know, women of science fiction we're going to show it to the next couple of people that come online and if they watch it and like it we'll show it to more people who subscribe to women of science fiction if you don't like it YouTube then doesn't do that. So please like the video. That's really going to make an incredible difference in us getting started. So that was my obligatory beg for that. And I'm going to put the social media links in this video as well at the top. So please like and follow us in all the places and help a lot getting, getting getting off the ground as well. Thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to try and do a few more of these videos in the next upcoming days with some more authors, get us some content, get things going off the ground. But like I said, let me know what you'd like to see. We can do that too. Have yourselves a fantastic day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever it is. Have a good one.